Good morning. Welcome to the University of Nebraska Lincoln and to the Scholars Program. We're very happy to have you here. Uh, my name is Larry Rylett. I'm the director of the center, and we've been running the program since about 2010. Uh, you guys are obviously a, a huge part of the success of that and continuing success of the program. You did your pre-test this morning. At the end, you're going to do a post-test. Very interested in your thoughts on the program, what can be improved, what you, what you liked. Uh, and we, we continue to iterate through when we do these. So what you're, what you're going to experience over the next few days have been uh, uh, tested out, improved over the years. Um, the goal really is to introduce you to grad school. Introduce you how, why you should go to grad school, um, how to be successful in grad school. Does it mean you have to go to grad school? No. We, we'd love you to go to grad school, but... It's really to let you know so you can make a choice. And you're at the University of Nebraska. We're going to be selling very hard. Hey, you should come to the University of Nebraska. Do you, do you need to come to Nebraska? No. Anywhere. There's lots of opportunity that you're going to find over the next few days. There's lots of opportunity for graduate school. I'm in civil engineering. You think, oh, you want me to go into civil engineering, and I'm not a civil engineer. No. It's transportation. There's a lot of different mechanical engineering. Like we work with cognitive psychologists. We work with medical school. There's lots of opportunity. If you say, I don't want to go in the train. I want to go do something else. Great. Right. It's, it's really as a way to get information to you. So by way of background, I want to talk about the center just really briefly. So Because you, you get to hearing these terms over the next few days. You're being hosted by a center. And many of you may be familiar with centers. When I was a student, I had no idea what these things were. I was familiar with departments, because I was in the Department of Civil Engineering. And I was getting a degree in Civil Engineering. So we're the Nebraska Transportation Center. And it's a North American perspective. It's research focused. It's not degree related. So you don't get a, we don't give degrees in transportation. We'll give a degree to a student in civil engineering or mechanical engineering or psychology or, or law. And we actually have a student in philosophy now working for us. Um, so, but it's research focused. And it, the other thing is it's multidisciplinary, everything. Engineering, business, arts, and science. And what the centers are, and you'll see these when you look at around the different universities and you hear them over the next few days, these are soft money. And what that means is we don't get money from tuition. We don't get money from the state. We go out and compete for grants, research grants. And what we do depends on the funding that we get. Okay, so we're transportation. We focus on transportation research. We go and compete with other universities, other entities. And that allows us to do things. So for us, we're at the Nebraska Transportation Center. It's basically all the transportation research at the University of Nebraska. We want to increase research. We want to increase funding. We want to increase the number of students. At the end of the day, we want a safer, more efficient transportation system. So you'll be seeing this through the next few days as you go. Uh, by the numbers, we have about 91 faculty affiliates. Probably 20 faculty work with us at any time from these different groups. Uh, we have 64 current research projects. Uh, over the last five years, we've done $40 million in funding. Right now, we have about $20 million in funding and 30 projects ongoing. Expenditures, about $6 million a year. You think, oh, that's great. What does that really mean? What I always look at it, what does it mean? Well, it allows us to hire students. And right now, in our center, we have about 47 graduate students. And one of the things you're going to find over the next few days is these are funded students. And by funded, I mean we pay tuition, we pay a stipend, we pay health care. So they're funded to do research in our center. So this is where you say, well, where did I come in here? Right? We have our undergrads right now. We also have graduate students. Okay? And this is not an atypical center. There's a lot of these types of centers. There's energy centers. There's environmental centers. We happen to be a transportation center. Uh, but this is the... This is sort of the focus behind it. We really do need U.S. students to, for a variety of reasons. Uh, help, one, to help us with our research. Two, to go out and have better technical skills to help solve some of the transportation problems that we're facing in our country. 
So we do a lot of recruitment, and, and, this, and this program is also to help us recruit, not only for University of Nebraska, but across the country. Core facilities, you're going to see uh, some of this. You're going to be, see our ITS lab when we get over to Whittier, where we have a traffic lab. We also talked to some of the mechanical engineers about crash testing. We have a crash testing site out at Lincoln Airport at the Midwest Roadside Safety Facility. So we do a lot of online uh, data collection, a lot of testing, those type of things. So that's the Nebraska Transportation Center. We're at the University of Nebraska. We go out and get funding and compete for funding. The other name you saw on your handouts and the title of this conference is the Mid-America Transportation Center. And it's uh, slightly different. It's a federally funded center, uh, US, United States Department of Transportation, and what they do is they provide funding to consortiums of university, so groups of universities, to conduct research. Um, what we conduct research on are hazardous goods, freight movements, and extreme events such as flooding, which is a big problem in our area. In fact, it's a big problem almost anywhere in the United States right now. So we're looking at that. You can see our partners are Iowa, Kansas, Missouri S&T, uh, Nebraska Indian Community College, Lincoln University uh, is one of our partners, as well as the Medical Center in, in Omaha. So it's a little bit different. We're a group of universities. We competed for this center. We received funding, and it allows us to do research on these types of issues. The other thing about these US DOT centers, MATC, is not only do they want us to do research, they want us to do outreach and education. So we have a lot of things. We have an after school program. We're in 10 middle schools right now in, uh, in our region. We have an intern program where we identify students and get them jobs for the summer. And some of the students that have participated in our scholars program have actually participated in our intern program as well. Okay? And you'll be hearing about these opportunities over the next few days. And of course, we have our scholars program, which you are getting to, uh, uh, you're here now, so you understand that one very well. So what we're trying to do is get students at all levels interested in, in furthering their education. For after school program, our goal is really to get the students, to because th we target middle schools, to get them to continue on in math and science, because that's when they start making the decision not to take math and science. So we really want to expose them to careers in math and science. And of course, with the scholars program, we want to take undergraduate students, and you're all very successful, you wouldn't be here, right? and try and convince you to go to grad school. And if you would have told me when I was in your position, you said, hey, you want to go to grad school, you know what I said? I said, I want a job. <laughs> I went to school to get a job. I'm going to work. I have a job offer. Right? And then I, and then I was talking, and my professors would not let me go, and they started saying, you know, and you get paid. I'm like, you get paid to go to school? I don't have to pay tuition? I didn't understand that. <laughs> and then they explained how much more beneficial it would be for me, and I went and did my master's. And it was a very good decision. Uh, so I believe deeply in these programs because I was the person who had the job offer and was going to go work. And, and I'm very glad that I had the mentorship to at least give me the information to make a choice. And that's really what this is, is to give you the information to make a choice. So lessons learned from this intro. Well, we're multi-university, multifaceted, multi-college. We have lots of private and public sector opportunities. I hope you get a lot out of this uh, the next two days. The other, only other thing I'll, I'll um, leave you with is that everyone you're meeting today, all, your, all the, the instructors, the professors, uh, myself, are here to help you. So it's not only helping you over the next two days. If you have a question four months from now, you have a question for six months from now, I'm, I'm volunteering everyone, but I know they're all agreeing. Feel free to contact us. <laughs> Right? We'll be happy to just say, hey, was that the scholar? I had, had a question on this. And I think what you're going to find is knowing people that have been through the system before can be very helpful. So it's an open invitation to stay in contact with us. If you have questions, feel free to ask us. 
And with that, I'm going to turn this over to Dr. Perkins.